Before I started, I thought psych ward, I was thinking straight jackets, but it's not. Yeah, there's, there's kind of a stigma about mental illness. Mental illness is a disease just as any other illness. It's just regular people with their issues that you and I have. It's not the stereotypical type of thing that's portrayed in Hollywood movies. It's not something that a lot of people really understand the dynamics of. Here on the Behavioral Health Unit, we strive to create a safe and healing environment. And our psych techs are the number one people who help create that environment. Our psych techs are our eyes and ears on the floor. We count on them to tell us what's going on. They see them in their everyday activities. They hear what they're saying. They come to us to learn coping skills. I'm actually looking for the things that are indicative of patients who present as being in crisis. I am there for the safety of, of the patients and to help them with things that they can't do on their own. In the morning, we start off with vitals. We get vital signs on every patient and then every 15 minutes we do a safety check. The things that they're required to look for are the patient's mood. If they're doing anything that would suggest that they're agitated, like if they're pacing or if they're throwing things or if they're yelling. Be prepared for a challenge. It is challenging. It's not all fun and games. <laughs> Sometimes it can be really mentally taxing because we see all these patients who come in and have all these different problems. A lot are really depressed, a lot have psychotic issues. You have to be on your guard because you never know if a patient's having a bad day, they could just snap like that. Every one of us goes through hard times, goes through moments where we just we need somebody. And working this job has really taught me how to not judge people, how to talk with people in a calm, polite way and really figure out what the root of the problem is. Identifying those challenges and being able to work through those challenges is really a benefit of the job. You're not doing this alone. You also have a group of nurses that are experienced and there to offer support and medical assistance. It's pretty powerful because sometimes the things that you possibly don't have as far as a skill set, maybe the next person does. There's a lot of places and spots for growth in this department. Being a psych tech doesn't mean that you're always going to be a psych tech. It just simply means that you're in here and you're fulfilling a role that hopefully gives you the skill set to promote yourself forward. No matter where else you go, there's always going to be people that are scared. The skills you learn on how to interact with people and, and understanding the fact that everyone's has trials, everyone goes through different things. One of the most important things with being a side tech is to really understand that there is a person below some of those, those things that are showing up or present. It's great just to see the patients improving and, and learning ways to improve their lives. It's really cool to see a patient who comes in who's really struggling with whatever uh, mental or emotional issues it is and then over time to see their mood uh, increase, to see their kind of desire for life increase and to the point where they're okay to leave the hospital and go to their outpatient treatment and, and continue on with their life. Working here is a phenomenal opportunity and I would encourage anyone, if this sounds like something that you would love to do, if this sounds like something that you would be a good fit for, I would definitely encourage you to apply.